so thank you guys for coming. Welcome to uh, a, what would you call it? The job skills intro to career pathways, anything like that. My name is Britt, as some of you know, and some of you don't. And I'm just going to take you through a short, um, what I like to call working out what you want to do with your life. Um, love to, like to, willing to call any of those things. But basically, it's about trying to just work out a pathway of what you really, really want to do, because everybody's got something that they really, really want to do. Whether you can admit it or not, it's a different story, because sometimes it's like, ooh, I couldn't say I could do that, because it's a bit scary to think that that you know all these things that would stop you from doing it come up no i can't say that because i'm not qualified or how could i be you know that so the love to is probably the hardest one to pull out because of that unless you really already know what you want and you're you're able to say it a lot of times in that love to side you'll get things like helping people come up like when you start really digging into you could be looking at construction or looking at retail or looking at you know uh, hospitality and whatever areas, but when people start talking about life problems and addiction and homelessness and you know society problems, all of a sudden it's like, oh, actually, I'd like that job. Um, I'd love to be that person. So keep that in mind when you're looking at the love to thing. Who would you like to serve in this life? What would you like to impact in this life? What kind of legacy do you want to leave if you left one, which we all will in some way? So the love to. These are my examples, right? So I'm pretty close to doing what I'd love to do because these reflect very much what I'm doing now. Um, own a hundred acre property where I could have um, workshops, life skills training, things like what I'm teaching in here. I'd love to have a property where I had horses and I had animals and I had jobs, you know, things that you could actually go, okay, you wanna fix fences and be that. Let's see if you could go do it, get out there and fix some fences. So that to me has been a goal for a really long time. I have a lot of data towards that goal where I've written down what I've got already towards it, um, what it would look like. I've gone into really good detail of, you know, really seeing myself in that. But a lot of people haven't kind of got to that stage of being able to go, this is actually my life goal. So not there yet. Local, local training center with a commercial kitchen. So I'd like to be able to bring that job skills. My background is heavy in hospitality, transport and logistics. I've been in the fitness industry, had a good sort of touch into a few different industries, deeply enough to learn what's needed in those industries. Um, so, yep, that, that's why. And then obviously number three is having both of those would be my ideal. Having something in here in the city and then a property out there. So my love to, so the like to stuff is more the roles, you might be looking at it next, you might be looking at it in a future. It's the things that you'd see yourself doing between now and when you get to that love to goal. So like, what would you be willing to actually, not just willing, what would you like doing with your day? So that would be more the jobs you're going for now, hopefully. And um, things, so these are mine. Sorry, do you mean like what jobs you'd be willing to do until hopefully one day reach your end goal? Or yep, but we're in the like to. So jobs that you'd uh, would you'd like to, like like to, to until, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So in between now and then. So right now, I would like to be a training facility because I, I enjoy my job. I'm, I'm here on an awful raining day. Could have called in sick, but not, we're here, right? So obviously, I. Obviously, I like doing this. Yeah. It would be something that I'd be willing to do. I'd like to have my own business. I, I'd like to, this room to be mine and to be conducting my own workshops or to be doing that on the side of what I do during the day. Um, recruitment would be an interesting thing to go into for a little while so that I'd be able to just sort of get a bit more of a other side of what it looks like to you guys. So when you leave me and you go out into the recruitment, what does that look like? And what are the problems that you run into with that? Um, so running my own training business, obviously mentoring job seekers. So you see, there's a theme there in my like, um, WPA is the, do you guys know what that is? The person that you report to that says you're cut off your payment or you're not cut off your payment. So that person that you see at your job active is your, what is it? Workplace advisor. Yeah. yeah. So I wouldn't mind doing that for a while, just to, yeah. just to like, same reason, just to sort of see what it's like for you guys on the other end of it. 
because it's all well and good for me to teach you how to do something and then you go out and you can't do it because there's a block yeah. there that I don't know about because I've yeah. never done that role. Um, so again, prison system, you know, that would be, you know, I'm quite interested in and being able to get to that point to say it. If when I get someone in here that has, you know, has a, a, a guilt or a feeling that they're not worth the job that the person next to them is, if I can change that mindset, that's, that's my gold, right? Okay. And then we're going to go to the beautiful section. So just make sure you get this, that you might have to do short certification inductions. So I've put two to six weeks because that it's sort of in that, yeah, you might need to go into a little program or like you guys doing your TAFE um, white cards and things like that. You might have to go through a bit of a training and then go in. So two to six weeks away. Now, this is where things get interesting. Notice there's a lot of difference in there. So uh, the willing to list, I will wash dishes for money and it's top of my list. Funny that the first thing that comes out is if you just want to pay me 30 bucks an hour to wash dishes, I will stand there, wash dishes and think about the business that I want to run, right? I will use it, use that time to do that. No problem at all. Um, kiosk in a petrol station, if you want to pay me to just do that, I'd probably work night shift so that I got more money and I had time to sit there and think about my business goals and maybe have a little doodle book or whatever to, to write things like that down on. Um, truck driver, I've done it before. I wouldn't do labor again. Um, I did moving fridges and TVs for JB Hi-Fi for four years. Not interested in doing that. House moves, not interested. Um, but I would definitely jump in a truck and just do forklift off and on. No problem, you wanna pay me 40 bucks an hour to do that? I do that. Courier work, same thing. As long as it was easy, because I'm, I'm getting on, I'm 50 this year. I don't really wanna be lifting stuff anymore. Um, photographer, that's an interest of mine. So yeah, I'd jump into a photography job if that came up. Um, social media marketing, something I know about. It's an annoying one, but I would do it in the, in the right circumstance. Um, Opta Stadium VIP suites, that's where I was. Um, quite enjoyed that, would do it again if it suited me. Um, retail sales in a camping four wheel drive store. Why did I pick, why was I specific about that, do you think? Yeah, that's one bit. It is, isn't it? So I'd go into retail and that. What do you think I might get out of that as a payoff? So I'd get. Do you see yeah, yeah, yeah benefits. Sure it's big old sure staff it. discounts, right? Yeah. Staff discounts. So it can be, especially if you're in a retail okay. mind, mm -hmm. it can definitely be good to look at it from the angle of where do I want the benefits of working from? Yeah. Yeah. So um, forklift driver in a warehouse. Again, easy money. I'm not lifting anything. The forklift's doing the work. I've got my forklift ticket. I could do that. Okay. So now it's your turn. <laughs> What I would like you to think about is in that book that you've got, try and get at least one thing in the love to. So I would love to do this with my life. Now, this is where it's the hardest and sometimes the like to stuff gets in there, but just have a go, have a little bit of a think and. The, the love to is your dream. Yeah. So really you probably wouldn't have many things to do. No, that's why there's only one to three, yep. Yeah. Working with animals, what would you love to do specifically with animals? Yeah. Yep. So would you want to be hands on helping, like feeding them, looking after them on their day to day thing? Would you like to be the one coming in when they're in danger and having like helping that? Would you help the vet? Would you be a vet? Yep. Yep. And do you have an, a desire to like run things or do you just want to be the one that's in there doing? <laughs> okay. So would you, I need to put something in that has a. a Mine is actually very similar. Cool. Uh, it's basically like the exact same yep. thing. And then the same issue with me is like my dream, if I think about my dream, it is something with animals. And then when people are asking me, what, what do I do? And then it's like, I'm not exactly sure. Would it be like a 
um, do you know what I mean? Like it's easy for you, I don't know, and then you do whatever you want, but then you know, you try to do it like, yeah, are you going to be like, shoveling the poo? Like some of the stuff on there, like vet, no, some are at university now, and yeah, no, like doing a study, blah, 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 yep. and that, like, so that, just no way, yep, and then, and then I'm just going to like, I mean, what, from what you've mentioned, one of the like, so it's like, you, you know, it's sort of feeding them, you know, like hands on, yeah. What about running it? Would you be in yeah, the like for me that's the kind of thing that yeah. eventually you know what I mean? So wildlife for domestic animals. Either either. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you had to pick one, which one? Domestic. Yeah. What about you? What about zookeeping and yeah, like that kind of thing. Like I thought about I'm not sure if you thought about it, like wildlife, like rehabilitation. Yep. Because too much work for not enough return. Yeah, like yep. I really would because I mean I'm studying at the moment and I've been studying for a long time. What are you studying? So I'm, I'm hopefully soon finishing my PhD. It's in that like medical research. Yeah, right. I'm a HIV AIDS viral research. Yeah, right. Research. How many years have you been on that track? Many, many, many. Why did you get into it in the first place? That's What's your favorite question. part of the whole process? I mean, I'm so I work with like HIV patients, but I don't like work with them directly because I'm in the lab. And I, I do like one thing it's made me realize is I do really love, and that's like another love too, but I'm not sure how we relate. Is my dream job would not actually be in the lab, like working with their blood, it would be something else with the HIV patients. But I would much rather enjoy like talking to them or helping them if you feel anything in some other kind of way. Yep. Not like in the lab. <laughs> yeah, you right. You know what I mean? Like, yep. Like even working for some HIV organization, just anything, yeah. So I've learned doing this job is I would rather yeah. like I would love to be involved if HIV patients or any other kind of group like that. But, yep. but my dream would be not in the lab. Yep. Be more dealing with them directly. Like, so hands on. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like having actual interaction with the patient or or HIV specifically. No, no, no. With no. um, just any patients or any. Not even patients, just groups of people sort of thing. That's what it's made me realize. It doesn't need to be HIV patients. It could be other kind of <laughs> interesting. Like, oh, okay, like uh, people who have escaped domestic violence. Yep. Or just it's just any other sort of yep. selection of people that were working. Yeah, cool. It's not the lab. <laughs> yeah, so it might be a good thing for you. And once we get to this like to mm -hmm. part is to really go okay i would do i would like to do that with people and think about the jobs that you know that are out there and the, even ones that you don't know are out there mm -hmm. and go okay would i be sitting in an office seeing patients seeing clients would i be going out into the community would i be in a care room yeah. like yeah. would i be in the hospitals yeah yeah it's a more specific thing, right? Yeah, the more specific you get, the more chance you get there faster. Yeah, yeah. You will still likely get to some semblance of what that love is, mm. but the way you get there is determined by how much you actually guide that. Yeah. Because you can float around and bang off the sides and you'll get there, but you might be a bit worse for wear as the banging off the sides. Yeah, yeah. Zookeeper? Yeah, cool. So we've got an idea of what you'd love to do. What I will suggest is just in your own spare time when you're sitting on the train with nothing to do, have a think about that because it really is important to know what you want to do because then everything that you're doing links up. You're like, you will be amazed at the little tiny things that actually do link up to what you do right back to your childhood. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go with that one. We've got the First bit. Um, now the like to. The like to. What did I say? Five to ten. One to five. About five. Like to. So that would, like the things that you would do now, and you could say, yeah, I could do that for two or five years. Might not link link right to the dream job, yeah. but it's something that you could do for more than right now. Yeah. You're like, yeah, okay. The Optus job, I don't know if that would be in your willing to or your like to. Maybe more in your willing to. Yeah, I'm willing to do this. You pay me, I'll come in, I'll learn some skills, I'll learn some people, I'll learn to be confident because being in a kitchen, you need to be confident. You learn all those things yeah. in that willing to. 
So let's see if you can get a few things in the light too. And you can see the light too, that's basically things that would help you get to the end goal, or it could be something like, yeah, well, I will also like to do this other job, not related to the animals. You want to hear what one of my like to's that I've been throwing around my head over this weekend? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Right? How is that related? Yeah. So I actually added it onto that slide this morning and took yeah. it off again because I thought, am I going to be able to actually yeah, like yeah. explain that enough? But you brought it up anyway, so obviously I needed to. So that's something you guys are unrelated to the angle. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's something that, yeah, I could do that for two to five years. Yeah. Right now in my life, yeah. I, if I decided to step out of this and just go and, uh, there's a lot, they're looking for people. They're, it, they're desperate. Now, I don't know if you can see that one behind me, but it says evaluate the consequences up front. This one here would require me to take some drastic changes. One, we have to go to Melbourne for the training. So I would have to relocate over to Melbourne for a chunk of time. Is that feasible? Hmm. But I wouldn't strike it off because it's something that has come up for me a few yeah. times. Now, why on earth would I want to be an air traffic controller? Okay, this is where I say clues get left along the way. So when, I only made this link a little while ago, a couple months ago. And I'm thinking, why, if I'm asking you guys to work out where you get a certain skill, let's say you're good, I'm gonna use attention to detail and a good memory. So those two things, I have a great attention to detail and I have an excellent memory. And I went, okay, so attention to detail and a great memory, where did that come from? And then I said, okay, well, I used to play pool a lot and, looking at different ways, you know, you can sink a ball 15 different ways, 100 different ways on the pool table, yeah. right? So looking at things in different directions is something that I'm good at. Yeah. But when I was a kid, I used, to, I used to play on my own all the time, right? I'm a tennis ball and I had this little game. I don't know if it's real or where I got it from, but I throw the ball at a wall and back and catch it. That was one. Throw the ball at the wall, bounce on the floor, catch it two. Floor, wall, catch three. Floor, wall, floor, catch four. And I had all these different, all the way up and I would test myself each time to see how far I could go. But what was I doing there? I was working on my memory skills because I had to remember, I wasn't writing it down. I had to remember where I was, what part of the sequence, which one's next. So I actually practiced the skill that I'm good at today in my job when I was seven playing in my backyard with a tennis ball, driving my parents nuts as I banged them. I can imagine how horrible that was. Bang, bang, yeah. bang, 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 <laughs> you know, yeah. annoying for everybody. But I was actually learning really important work skills. Yeah. Yeah. And it's where when we get to that one, it's like, huh, yeah. okay, all these things do matter. What I was doing as a kid, seven years old and hating myself yeah. matters for what I'm doing now and matters for what I want to do. Cool. So air traffic control, I've got a great memory. I've got an excellent attention for detail. I can look at this and know how that's going to impact that when it gets there. I've just, you know, the pool table, the all the little things. So don't be afraid of putting things on there that might seem to not be related. Maybe I'd be an awesome air traffic controller. Maybe being an air traffic controller for four years or five years would give me the money yeah. that I need to buy my hundred acre property. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's an excellent paying job. Say, yeah. That's an incredibly good paying yeah. job. That's not a bad. Yeah, probably. Cool. So that these things here, get yourself a little bit of a dump down of what jobs you would do. If someone's going to pay you here, I'll give you this money. Will you do my gardens? Will you come and clean my house? Will you okay. take money? You know, what would you yeah. be willing to get paid for? Really? Yeah. So if someone was like, oh, see if you can get you nine on there. Yeah. And if it suits you and if you can, you know, if it gives you the mental space to, you know, yeah. Yeah. Because you only like save up money for your other goal. That's it. Yeah. That's it.
What would you do for the next two to five years while you're waiting to get to where you want to go? Well, thinking about my ego, which is I actually know truly what that's cool. And related, yep. I would just uh, actually just realize to make my job hard. It's work okay. For volunteer at an animal shelter. Yep. Well, that's what I put down in my life to uh, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they they pay people for that. You don't have yeah. to volunteer. Yeah, I mean, and that's how much in the past when I thought about this whole animal. Yeah. Me in that area, but I'm not sure. I always thought even when I. Okay, I'm going to close this one off. So we've got some things in the love to, yeah. some things in the like to, yeah. a few things in the willing to. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we'll do the next part in the next session. So. I